Hey everybody, it's Cheryl, and welcome back to Technique of the Week. It's week 10, and this week we're going to talk about quilting with wool. Now, I don't own a lot of wool. I did buy sort of a bundle of wool at some event that I was at, probably a major quilt show, and thought, ooh, pretty colors, and then got it home and thought, what am I going to do with this? Um, I have seen lots of people do a lot of really nice uh, wool applique, but I wanted to try something a little different first and try uh, applique by machine, but really not going around all of the pro all of the pieces with that buttonhole stitch or anything like that. I just wanted to apply the pieces down and see what I could see. So obviously we're working with um, my octopus designs wherever possible this year and I thought wow an octopus is going to take a lot of work but I did stick sort of with the ocean theme and came up with this sort of topographical map. Now all of these pieces are applied to the piece below it and then the last piece is applied to the quilt and you can see that here on the back. What we have then is just, I quilted the rest of it. Um, I did not put any batting in this. I thought that this was uh, as an art quilt that was going to hang on the wall. Uh, it had enough body without it needing any, um, any additional batting. So the pieces uh, are sort of uh, stacked up, sort of topographical map. So that's what I did with it. Now you could do whatever you want with it. And you know, obviously you can get wool in all kinds of different places. And they come in all sorts of really uh, awesome colors. So give it a try. It's just one more thing for you to try. I tried it, eh, you know, it, it, it came out, it worked. So um, anyway, uh, to follow along on my blog at www.muffin.com. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and get all of the Technique of the Week uh, episodes as they happen. And also, you can subscribe on my website to my newsletter and get a copy of the 52 Techniques uh, so that you can follow along all year. And I will see you again next week.